I'm Kip from KipHakes.tv and today I am unboxing something. More unboxing, I know right? <laughs> Basically I am going to be unboxing this. Now this is the Hue Lightstrip Plus. Now this is the second version of the Lightstrip which has got Bluetooth compatibility. So what I'll do is I'll split this video up into three separate bits. First we'll have the unboxing, then we'll set it up through the Hue Bluetooth app, and then we'll set it up via the Hue standard hub based app, which is the one I normally use. So you might have to bear with me a second because I've never set up anything through the Hue Bluetooth app before because I've got a hub here and I just use that all the time. But um, lots of people have been asking me about the Hue Bluetooth light, so I thought I'd give it a go with these. So basically, this is a light strip. It is two meters long. You can cut it down to size, and also these do now come with a, a clamp that enables you to rejoin cut pieces, which is super handy, and the first version of the light strips didn't include that. And also you can then add um, extension pieces. Um, you can buy them separately as one meter extensions. And I think you can extend up to 10 meters, I'm correct in saying. Now this is destined to become an under counter light in my kitchen. And I will probably be doing a video about how to use Hue light strips as under counter lights um, in the future. I guess what we'll do now is get this unboxed, have a look inside and then get it set up using one of those two methods. Now, first of all, before we unbox, if you need to know if the Hue light you're buying is Bluetooth compatible, it's quite simple, it's on the box. Now, there are different variations of Hue lights about the first generation stuff isn't Bluetooth compatible. Like the play bars that I've got for the lights behind me, those are not Bluetooth compatible. And um, I think basically Hue are rolling out Bluetooth compatibility across all their devices I think basically Hue are revamping all of their models, adding Bluetooth compatibility to them. So yeah, you need to, if you want to have Bluetooth compatibility, you've got to make sure it shows it on the box, because if it doesn't, they aren't compatible with the Bluetooth app. So uh, yeah, let's get this cracked open and have a look at what's inside. Oh, okay. Oh, that's that's quite a bit different from the original variation. So this is the uh, control module and it comes with some 3M tape on the back which is super handy and basically power adapter goes in there the light strip plugs into there and uh, that is essentially it now I don't really want to unfurl all of this now one of my biggest complaints about the light strips in their original form was the adhesive on the back was a bit rubbish so I first got some of these to go behind the back of my TV unit, which you would have seen in my uh, Philips TV Ambilight video. And yeah, the adhesive on the back of the original ones isn't much cop. It might be better on these. We shall see. And then what's underneath here? Oh, that's quite weighty. So we've just got a uh, user manual there. Hopefully we won't need that. I should know my way around the Hue stuff fairly well. What have we got here? Okay, so we've got a uh, Philips power brick. There we go, Just finding the focus on that. We have got the cable and we've got some various plugs, I think, depending on where in the world you are. We've got a Europe one and we've got the UK one. Ah, and I think this is the um, guy that you can join the strips together with. Now, I'm pretty certain I'm correct in saying that these strips are different from the original versions. So I don't think you can join a version one and version two strip together. So uh, bear that in mind, which is a bit annoying actually, because I've got lots of version one strips just knocking around that I've had to cut. So uh, yeah, we've got the uh, power brick here. What is it rated? Is it rated the same as the other ones? Yes, it is rated at uh, 24 volts at uh, 0.3 amps which is the same as the other ones, good. You'll find out why that's good in the video soon. But um, yeah, I guess we can unfurl this slightly and I can show you about how to cut it. Now you'll notice along the strip, there's a little um, line where it shows a scissor mark and you basically can cut it at that point there. Um, 
you can't cut it anywhere else. Well, you can, but it will break it. And yeah, I think they're spaced out about every 30 centimeters, I'm right in saying. Yeah, I'd say about that's about 30 centimeters. Um, it does seem a bit thicker than the original light strip. Yeah, so that's what it looks like. I guess what we'll do now is we'll get it um, plugged in and uh, see how it works. So let's move this out of the way. And I think this just slides in there like that. There we go. So this is the cable that connects the power brick to the um, little control box. That's a lot smaller than the other ones used to be. I like that. That's really good. And also on the control box, it's got the serial number. And if you have trouble connecting your lights, via the uh, Hue Hub app, it's, you can use the serial number. So how long's this cable? I would say this cable is about two meters. Two meters, 1.8 meters. Yeah, I'd say that's at least two meters. That's a good length of cable. Maybe not. Right, I'll just go under the desk and plug it in. Lovely stuff. So that plugs into there. And then this plugs in to here. Whoa! I'm fully aware I've just blown the color out on the overhead camera, but you get the idea. You get the idea. Right, okay, so I guess now we're going to uh, try and set it up. So we'll do the setup first of all in the Hue Bluetooth app. So we've got two Hue apps on my phone. There's Hue, which is the standard one if you've got a hub, and then we've got Hue BT. So we'll use the Hue BT app. Now, this is the first time I've even opened it. So uh, this is literally setting up for the first time. Get started. Are your lights Bluetooth compatible? Yes, they are. You need your name and email address to set up the app for some reason. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, use a voice assistant. I won't do that for now. Right, so we can add our lights. Um, do we want the, ha, this to have access to location? Yes, so. Right, add light. So now it's searching for lights. How to connect your lights. Oh. Wants to pair with the lamp, I think. Oh no, there we go, it's found it. Boom. That's it, isn't it? That's found it. <laughs> okay, we're done. Now use the app. Spring Blossom, there we go. And then we can just slide around the app and change the colors. There we go. And then in the app as well, we can just turn the lamp on and off. Cool. And that's basically it. That's how it works. So that was pretty easy to set up via Bluetooth. Yeah, I'm not really a fan of the Bluetooth app, largely because I've got so many lights in so many rooms the hub works better for me. But if you've just got one room and a couple of lights, then why not use this? It's fine. And obviously you can control the lights with your voice assistant as well. Where's that brightness? Oh yeah, look, there we go. Ooh. There we go. Change the brightness. Cool. Okay. Right, well that, that works. Oh, and now you can save what we've done as a new scene. So let's just save it as a blue. Save. It all seems to it all seems to work pretty seamlessly. You know, there's no delay or anything. That's really smart. That's good. Right. Okay. So that is us set up in the Hue Bluetooth app. 
Let's see uh, how it works in the Hue standard app. And we'll go into the regular Hue app. There we go. And we need to go to light setup and then add light. We'll do search. Uh, now, fun fact, uh, I actually completely ruined the last part of this recording when I made it earlier. So I've had to start this second half all over again. That's why the slight, the setup's slightly different and it's a little bit darker outside now. Right, still searching for the light. It can take a while to add lights through the hub. I don't know why it does that. But look, there we go. One new light found. Whereabouts is it? Oh, there it is. There it is. Right. There we go. We found it. We're making it flash now. Cool. So we can then rename that. This is going to go in the kitchen. So we'll call it uh, kitchen strip two. Perfect. And then you have to tick and press enter to save the name. There we go. Kitchen strip two. Excellent. And then we can go and add that light into the kitchen. Kitchen strip two. There we go. Sorted. Perfect. So if we now go into the kitchen and look at our lights, there we go, there's kitchen strip two. Turn the brightness up and down. So that is it set up through the Hue app. It does take a little bit longer to find it compared to the Bluetooth version. But yeah, our light is now set up and configured. So that's good. Now let me just turn that off. Perfect. Yeah, that just works. That's really good. Perfect. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm really happy about how simple that is. So it looks great. It's got a bit warm. These do, these light strips do get warm. They don't get hot, but yeah, that's good. I like that. And oh, I don't think you can see that. Let me just turn the light strips off. There we go. And if you want to join some light strips together, there's a connector at the end there. These light strips retail at around about the sort of 65 pound mark and the uh, one meter extension strips are about 20 pounds per meter. Um, obviously the extension strips don't come with the control box so they do look super cheap but they are literally a strip. So yeah that is it. I think, I think that's all I can say for this video so hopefully that's helped you. If you've got any questions, then please do drop them in the comments. I do read every single comment and I try and reply to all of them, especially the nice ones. So if you don't get a reply, try a bit nicer. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll be back soon for some more vlogging fun. See ya.